Hello operators. Today we're going to take a look at the beacon, what it's for, and how to use it. You can think of the beacon as the pulse or heartbeat between your station and other stations around the world. We send out beacons to let other stations know we're out there and to get a response from them to let us know if we can hear them. When you're testing your computer network, it works kind of like a ping. There's a few different areas in the app where incoming or outgoing beacon data is relevant. Let's quickly go through those. In the button cluster at the top of the screen, you'll find a beacon button. Uh, there's two ways to use that button. If you left click it, it will enable the beacon. If you right click that button, it will instantaneously send out a beacon. Now to set up how often your beacon sends, you can use beacon inner valve in the settings. I usually have mine set for every 10 to 15 minutes. Now once your beacon is triggered, you'll see in the composition window, your call sign, semicolon, beacon, and your grid square. Until your beacon goes out, it'll be in the transmit queue, but when it goes out, you'll see it here. Now let's take a look at what happens when stations respond to your beacon. I've set up the user interface to display a special color when a directed message is coming in with my call sign. Those are three beacon acknowledgements coming in from other stations who heard my beacon. We can see those three stations in the waterfall if you look carefully. So those stations sent you a beacon acknowledgement, they sent you your signal report, but the application also does one other thing. It updates your heard list and lets you know which stations you can hear and can hear you. That's the little star next to the call signs. Your acknowledgement and your signal report from those stations will be displayed in the message window. So now let's take a look at how to set it up, how to send it out, and what to expect when you get an acknowledgement back. So now we'll go ahead and start up the app. It doesn't matter if it's a Raspberry Pi, a Mac, Linux, or a Windows machine, they're basically all the same, as far as the app is concerned. The first thing we're going to do is hit F2 and go into Settings. You can scroll down near the bottom of the settings and find Beacon Interval. You can use the up and down arrows next to the number of minutes there to adjust it higher or lower. I'll set mine up for 10 minutes. Click OK at the bottom of the setup screen to go back to the main screen. Now we can go to the upper right hand side of the screen to either enable, disable, or send a beacon now. In the composition window, you'll see your beacon text set up there for you. And then your beacon will be buffered in the transmit buffered and sent out in the next transition. So we've just sent our beacon out into the world. All we have to do now is wait for a response from stations which can hear us. If you're watching the waterfall and some stations can hear you, you'll soon see uh, some activity just after your beacon. So naturally, the waterfall is your first indication. Your first real indication is the activity feed on the left side of the screen. Then you'll get directed messages or beacon acknowledgements in the messaging window in the center of the screen. Now, thanks to the beacon and the beacon acknowledgements, you now know which stations you have bi-directional communications with. Those stations are represented by a star, in the right-hand side of the screen in your heard list. Now suppose your station is idle, but you're sitting there in the ham shack. Your beacon is enabled and someone else out in the world sends a beacon to you. Provided you're not in cell call or directed mode with a station, your station will respond to that beacon and send out a beacon acknowledgement. Also, for this to happen, you have to have auto enabled in the button cluster at the upper right side of the screen. 
So thanks to the activity feed on the left side of the stream, we can see that Uniform Sierra 8 India Papa Romeo sent out a beacon. We responded with an acknowledgement and a signal report to his beacon. And there you have it. It's easy as cake.